What's up guys, Greg Mack here with Duval Beekeeper. So, back for day two at uh, Smoker Zone in Ben Salem, PA. This is the first removal that I did on Wednesday. You can see it was 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 13, 14 block uh, affected. Um, so not an all in all a terribly huge cutout, but eight hours, start to finish, to cut that hole, remove all the bees. So we're on to day two, and uh, just to give you an idea what we're dealing with here, I should have brought my tripod. Powering up our thermal imager, and as you can see here, uh, we got one heck of a heat signature here. Goes basically to the almost to the floor. I'm pretty certain there's honeycomb below that. We got probably a five or six foot heat signature that's red. All brood chamber and then possibly second brood chamber up top. Um, so we're looking at a big one. I don't know if you can see my lines there. Right here. That's the cut I'm going to make. Floor to ceiling. Open up all those blocks. So this one's probably three times the size of the first one. And there's another one this size next door. So I got a heck of a lot of work ahead of me. Uh, I'm an hour in already. Uh, that was just moving. This is my job site today. BVAC collection box. Six buckets. Tow to tools. Seven inch grinder. Four and a half inch grinder. Chipping hammer vacuum for dust collection so I'm probably two hours before I'm even gonna see a bee uh, I gotta make a bunch of cuts in this block in order to, to take it apart um, basically I can show you on this I'm on top of a humidor a giant humidor so this is what the cinder block looks like as you're aware so I have to cut in off of the mortar line about an inch and a half to two inches. Cut that on both sides. And then I could make two more cuts. But generally once I make that cut, I can break this block, this part of the block out. I make that cut and that cut. That part of the block will come out pretty easily. So I have to do that across two blocks. Just as an example. So I'll be making cuts one, two, three, four, floor to ceiling. When I tell people to be very cautious about getting involved with cutouts, it's because of something like this. The thermal imager is absolutely at this point a necessity. I did Probably five or six without one, and it's so much easier with one. You can pinpoint exact location. Generally speaking, if they're in a joist bay or something like that, you can pinpoint where the joists are so you can make great cuts, easy cuts for repair. This, I'm not doing the repair work here, but uh, I'm fairly certain that uh, it's going to be quite a bit of repair work. Like I said, I got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 22, 4, 6, 8, 28 blocks. Um, that's probably more because some of them are half blocks. So that's what I'm into today. Got to get to work. It's going to be a long day.